This is an introduction to second shift theorem of inverse Laplace transform. I'm going to use example 1b to illustrate this theorem. Recall that the second shift theorem of Laplace transform say that Laplace transform of f of t minus c times u of t minus c is equal to e power negative cs times Laplace transform of f of t. Therefore, inverse Laplace transform of e power negative cs times Laplace transform of f of t will be equal to f of t minus c times e of t minus c. Let's look at example 1b. We are going to find the inverse Laplace transform of e power negative s over s minus 6. And I have written down the second shift theorem for the inverse Laplace transform on the right hand side. First, we must figure out what is c here. In order to do that, I'm going to rewrite this as inverse Laplace transform of e power negative s times 1 over s minus 6. Then, by comparison, with e power negative s and e power negative cs, I find that c is equal to 1. I also compare Laplace transform of ft with 1 over s minus 6. So that means that Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 over s minus 6. Which also means f of t is equal to e power 6t. After I have obtained ft, I need to find out what is f of t minus c, where c is equal to 1. So let's find out f of t minus c, where c is equal to 1. Now, which means that the t will be replaced by t minus 1 in the expression of ft. That means that this will become e power 6 t replaced by t minus 1. And so the final answer is e power 6 times t minus 1 Multiply this with u of t minus c, where c is 1. And this is the final answer after you multiply them. We can also get the answer mentally. That means that we can actually write down the answer immediately. First, we ignore e power negative cs. So that means that I'm going to ignore e power minus s and take note of c. From here, I know c is equal to 1. Then, I left with inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 6 which is equal to e power 6t and that is my ft and then the third step is replace all the t by t minus c where c is equal to 1 now so replace 
t by t minus 1. I get f of t minus 1 equal to e power 6 times t minus 1. And then multiply with u of t minus 1. I get e power 6 times t minus 1, u of t minus 1. And this is the final answer.